Welcome geniuses, uh, year 10 students, we're looking at uh, perimeter and area of polygons today and I'm going to do a number of the examples in the exercise. I suggest that you do um, uh, at least one from each of the questions, so one, at least one other one from uh, section 1, at least one other one from section 2, at least one other one from section 3, etc, etc. Um, preferably more, the more practice you get, the, the better you're going to get. If you have any questions, of course, let me know. That's my job. I want to help you, but um, uh, you'll, you'll have to let me know via ThinkWave or um, on here on YouTube. You can uh, leave a comment or you can um, email my um, Mr. K email address, which is attached to this YouTube account. Um, okay. Uh, so, what am I going to do? Uh, well, the first one we're trying to find the perimeter and the area of these shapes. So I'm going to do. Hmm, let me see. Um, I'll probably do A. Um, so the perimeter for A. You can see that we've we've got uh, this and this going up, which is equal to this, isn't it? Right. This bit plus this bit is equal to seven. So this must be 4. But we can just say the up and down parts, or well, the heights, are both 7. So we've got two lots of 7. And then we can consider the length bits. This is 11. And this plus this is also 11. So we could just go two lots of 11. Um, and so this is our perimeter. And all up, what do we get? So we get 14. Um, plus 22, which is 36. All right. Um, next one. Oh, so that's perimeter. Now let's also do the area of this. So what I'm doing when I do the area of this one is I'm going to cut the shape into two little bits. I'm probably going to cut it um, like this. And remember I said that this bit here was 4. So the bottom rectangle is 4 times 11. And then this top bit here, you can see, is uh, 3 multiplied by 6. And so this gives us 44 plus 18. And um, what's that? 44 and 20 is 64. Take away 2 is 62. All right. Okie dokie, next one, um, we're going to move on to part two. Uh, we've got to find the area of the parallelograms. Okay, just the area for these ones. So I'm going to have a look at this one here. Now remember the area of a parallelogram is base times height. Now the key thing though is what is height? Okay, height is the perpendicular distance from one of the parallel sides to the other. Now, a lot of students get confused and think this is a height, but it's not. This one is a height because you can see it's a 90 degree angle from this top bit to this bottom bit. So that is your height. So when you're doing these, you're going to need to look for heights. So in this first one, A, that's not a height. This is a height because it's 90 degrees. Okay, so just be aware of that. So for the area of this one, we're going to go... 12 times 6, um, which is equal to 72 centimetres squared. Um, oh yes, they're all in centimetres, so I should have put centimetres squared here and centimetres there. Now the trapezium, the area of a trapezium, and you need to memorise this, is half A, bracket A plus B, times the height. Now, A and B are your perpendicular sides, so this is A, this is B, or vice versa, it doesn't really matter. Um, this one is A, and this is B. This one is A, and this one is B. And this one is A, and this one is B. And the reason for this is that they are perpendicular. So, this is the perpendicular sides. And this is the uh, 
sorry, not the perpendicular sides. Oh, sorry guys, I'm actually sick at the moment. <laughs> um, so um, my brain's not functioning as well as usual, <laughs> which is problematic. So parallel sides. Um, okay, and um, the height is the perpendicular distance between the parallel sides. So perpendicular distance between parallel sides. So I'll do an example of this for you. Whoop, parallel sides. So uh, I'm going to do... Um, I will do... C. Okay, I'm going to do C. So in this case, we go half. And then we pop in our parallel sides, 10 plus 5. And then the height between them, the perpendicular height, you see it's at right angles. Uh, is going to be 6. Um, now I can rearrange that. Um, another way of writing that is to say um, half of 6 is 3. 3 times 15, um, and so that should be 45 uh, centimeters squared. Now, um, okay, um, I will look at uh, one of these. So these last ones, um, the first one is a triangle, so you're going to use half base times height. Um, the second one you could split into two triangles if you want. Um, that would be one way of doing it. Um, okay, so, and then do half base times height times two. Um, you just need to remember that this height here is five. And this one is also five. Okay. Uh, the next one, um, we could just use the kite, I probably could have done that before, but I'm going to use the kite version, uh, kite formula for this one. So for C, for C, um, here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to do half, B, Q, I actually don't need that bracket. So that's equal to half of one diagonal times the other diagonal. So in this case half times 20 times 16, and that's just going to be 10 times 16 which is 160 centimeters squared. So the diagonals are these bits here. That one's 20 and that one's 16. Um, okay, um, so the last one, um, you, um, I'll get you to do, that. you can do this one on your own, but just be aware that you've got a trapezium here um, and you've got half A plus B times the height and then at the bottom you've got a triangle, so you're going to just do those in two separate um, steps. Right, um, what am I going to do here? Let's do number six, and I'll call it a day for this video. Um, so for six, um, what have we got? Two parallel sides, okay, so we've got x here, 3x plus 2 here, and the height is 6, and we know that the area is 108. So all we need to do is chuck this into our formula. We know that half bracket a plus b, which in this case is x plus 3x plus 2, multiplied by the height is equal to the area, and we know that the area is 108. So <coughs> I can half that 6, and then I can, so that's 3, and then inside the brackets I get 4x plus 2 equals 108. Now what I'd probably do at this point is I'm going to divide 108 by 3. And I know that 3 goes into it because if you count up all the digits, 1 plus 0 plus 8, that is equal to 9, which and 9 is divisible by 3. So I therefore know that 3 goes into it. It actually goes in 36 times. So I get 46 plus 2 is equal to 36. Now I'm going to pull that 2 across. So I get 4x... Uh, is equal to, uh, is that right? Um, I think so. Um, uh, 36 minus 2, so 34. And so x is equal to 34 over 4. Um, and I guess, um, what does that give us? Um, 8.5 centimeters. Uh, I think that should be the right answer there. Well, I hope that's been helpful to you. Have a go at some of the other ones. It shouldn't actually take you too long. Do let me know if you do struggle with any of these. All right, team. God bless. Have a great day.